Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tim Kidwell Outdoors. We're back on the water, I got the kayak, but guys, before we get started today, do me a favor, hit the like button, and then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, because today, we're gonna be trying out something I've never done before. I'm thinking maybe, from this point on, I might just do some additions to the kayak. If you guys wanna stay tuned for that, maybe give me some ideas or some tips on what I can do to the kayak, definitely leave those down below and follow along the journey. So let's go ahead and get this day started. Today we're gonna to be trying out the new Plano V Crate. And I also have the Garmin on the kayak. It's been a while since I've actually had some kind of fish finder on the front of this kayak. But now I actually have one back up here. It's a little more updated than the last one. I'm looking forward to giving it a try, especially at a lake like this. So right off the bat, I need to put away my phone, my wallet, my keys, that kind of stuff. Water tight, keep that in there. Everything else looks good. I'll tell you what, this thing really does weigh the kayak down. So if you guys are worried about weight in the kayak, it's uh, it's, it's definitely a lot heavier. Okay, we are moving. Oh yeah, this thing definitely feels heavy. But, all right, we're in the kayak. Let's get this thing started. Well guys, starting off with bad news, I guess the battery, it's my old battery, and I charged it the other day, but now it's already dead again, so looks like I might have to get a new battery for this thing, because look, it'll turn on, and then it shuts right back off. Crap. So with this on, it's sunny today. Alright guys, so I got my ruler shield on, sunglasses. Shoes are kicked off, we're in here. Before I do get started fishing, it, this thing is, it's definitely a lot better than what I thought it was gonna be. It's just right here behind me, and I can just literally go behind me. I don't have to look, I can just grab it and go. And then I thought it was gonna be more of a pain in the butt to actually grab stuff out of here, but really, it's not. I can just, and I needed this, so. Yeah, I mean, just, it's a very simple, well thought out thing, especially with it having that V shape coming out to the sides. It, it's actually better than what I thought it would be. All right, but I need to stop talking. Let's get fishing. All right, there we go. Nice little jig. This is a motion fishing jig, so go ahead and check them out. I'll leave their link in the description below. <laughs> right in the top of the face. <laughs> oh yeah. Sexy frog. Nice little fish. Sweet. Buddy. Oh, wrong way. Oh my 
God. come off <sighs> jeez it's like I can get a fish on a frog but it's just the jig that's the hardest one to catch with so but luckily I got him good he wasn't coming off not taking any chances jeez really had him pinned. This is the motion fishing jig. Uh, I think it's a 3 8 ounce with a rage crawl and it's a nice little fish. Fatty. Cool. Oh, yeah. There he goes. Of course guys I wasn't filming but got another fish on the frog third fish of the day <laughs> little feisty guy come on let you go right where I caught you and there he goes right where he just was cool beans I'll tell you what guys I am so sorry it's like I turn it off after catching one fish and I forget to turn it back on and other things. So sorry about that, guys. That was a good, good hit, too. He hit it, missed it, and then came back and, and got it again. So it was pretty cool. But all that matters is that you guys got to at least see the fish in my hands caught on this black sexy frog. All right. Let's get back at it.